this is part of a series. The first uh, part of the series was looking at editing the source code and the binary files for uh, PR Boom, which is a, a port of Doom. And um, today we're going to be looking at uh, extracting WADs. We're going to be reviewing stuff, so I suggest watching the previous videos. Hopefully there's an annotation on the screen to the full playlist. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm in an empty folder here. If I run do text, which is our wad extractor and packer, and we tell it's dash doom because it's a doom one. I point it to the doom one wad. Uh, I can also point it to dash sounds and then extract. What we're doing here is in the previous videos, uh, we've been extracting the entire wad, but there's different categories. Once you extract, you see that there's different folders graphics, textures, levels, sounds. Here we're saying dash sounds to just extract the sounds. That way you don't have to extract the full WAD file. I'll show you the difference. So if I just extract, and I can say PC man here, or Pac-Man, whatever your file manager is, you can see that I have extracted all these folders and they have images in some of them, sounds in others. But if I was to delete all that, and run the same command, but with the dash sounds option. Now, open up my file manager here. You can see there's only one folder, and that's the folder containing the sounds. So we're going to edit a sound today. And there's lots of different sound software out there. Audacity is a um, very popular one. Uh, but I'm going with uh, WM Wave. Should be in your repositories if you're on a Debian-based system, at least. Um, it's not as full blown as Audacity is. And I like Audacity for um, track editing, lots of different tracks and stuff, mixing stuff. But if you're just doing a simple wave edit, I prefer this program. And another thing is Doom is very particular about uh, the, the bit rate and everything for the file. And when you use Audacity, it's you have a project and you have to, we would have to change all the settings to match what you need for Doom where if I use MH Wave Edit and I open up one of the audio files for Doom already, it already has those settings, so if I just replace that file and save it, uh, I don't have to worry about getting all the settings right. So I'm gonna say open up, I'm gonna go into the Sounds folder, uh, DS, uh, all the audio files start with that, I'm assuming that stands for Doom Sound, and I'm gonna say pistol.au, those are the audio files. I'm gonna say AU, we'll open that, and if I click play, Hopefully you can hear that. It's a gunshot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go open and I'm going to open up a file uh, that I already created and it's my voice saying bang. It's rather low so what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the audio of it a few times. I'm going to go effects and volume adjustment fade and I'm just going to set this to 400 at beginning and end. Apply it's a bit louder now. So here's the original gunshot sound. I'm going to select all that and just hit delete. And you can already see if you look at the top, the doom sound is an 8-bit sound at 1125 hertz, where this sound that I recorded uh, is at 16 bits and 440 and 100 hertz. So if I save this file now, it won't work in doom. But if I just take it, and paste it over here and then I can play it and I can control S to save it it warns me it's clipping it's because I boosted the audio a lot so it's clipping a little bit it's alright for this I'm going to click OK and then I can close both of those don't need to save the first one and what I'm going to do is I am going to do text make one wad I'm just calling the wad one dot wad and um, you can see some warnings here. These warnings are always here. One of the f audio files is at the uh, wrong rate and it won't work on a previous version of Doom, but in PR Boom, it's gonna work fine. And that's not the file we were editing anyway. So now I can use PR Boom to run our WAD file. And hopefully you'll hear when I click, or if I shoot, 
you hear me saying bang instead of the actual gunshot. So hopefully you're picking that up in the um, video here. And um, so I'm just recording that sound with my microphone. But that is how you can edit sound in Doom. And I just thought I'd show you that because if you tried to save it in the wrong format, uh, it wouldn't work. And uh, I find the easiest way is to use, um, like I said, um, MH Wave Edit and just overwrite the file. Because again, you could use Audacity, but you'd have to change your project settings to all the right settings uh, for that. So that's it. I try to keep this one short and simple. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.